there's only one number to call. Oh, fuck you. Over to you, Ustaz. So which comes to the next question yang I think uh, for us yang pengamal ruqyah syariah pun hmm. sama juga ada this kind of question orang akan tanya tau. So far pernah tak kena kacau, pernah tak kena gangguan. So selama abang ni untuk misi jam 12 nanti mungkin you can ulah of course kita nak tahu tentang malam seram eh. So pernah tak dalam keadaan you sedang bertugas ada gangguan and all that yang sebenar-benarnya berlaku hmm. ada tak? Is there is there so some far, um Gangguan tak ada lah I mean huh, Ya Allah jaga ni <laughs> Gangguan tak ada But Sometimes um, Benda-benda kadang berlaku hmm. So we try to uh, Macam play along with it Ui. Play along mak- Maksudnya Tak sebenarnya CD jatuh kat belakang Eh? Uh, CD oh. jatuh So CD angin, jatuh uh, CD kat belakang dulu pakai CD tau So hmm. zaman-zaman CD CD hmm, berdiri CD, dalam CD, hari yeah. hmm. So tiba-tiba rack tu gerok CD jatuh So bila CD jatuh I, My first instinct bukan hantu CD rack tu memang dah lama <laughs> <laughs> But Sometimes Orang akan Eh bunyi apa tu? Uh, tulang kau cerita tu So we play along lah We play along hmm. So to get that uh, Orang punya interest But hmm. I tak cakap ada hantu kat belakang I hmm. cakap dalam korang yang macam-macam You know <laughs> When we say that Orang akan fikir benda lain pula ah, Ni mesti yeah. adalah ni gangguan ni uh, You hmm. know hmm. So sometimes kita tak perlu nak Exaggerate the story Betul But kita just say Benda yang betul Factual Tapi still orang akan ingat Benda tu hantu You know Macam yeah. korang jangan macam-macam Cakap macam gini Saya ni so, Saya ni seorang-seorang so, kat studio mm. ha. yeah. But Memang sini jatuh Cuma mm. orang ingat kan Oh betul-betul You know There, there are people call in Tiba-tiba Alhamdulillah Ini syaitan Ini rajin Ha okay, Itu Itu <laughs> Yes, ha. Macam baca Baca jampi apa hmm. Lepas tu ha, Lepas tu macam Letak Letak To, to be honest Adalah sikit rasa macam Apa dia ni buat ni hmm. But after that I Actually I'm okay Tak ada apa-apa pun But hmm. wow. You have to play along You embrace that lah ha, You have to You know Jangan terus matikan hmm. You matikan You tak ada story <laughs> Macam pop okay jom story no you walaupun you seorang yang berani because that is opportunity for you to create interest yeah. so you, siapa pula yang kau laku ni <laughs> macam baca jampi serapa ni saya ingat ha. dulu uh, uh, mesti jam 12 tu ada orang selalu call eh? Pak Radin eh Pak Radin ha. kronik pergi kronik balik kan <laughs> tu <laughs> itu legend ha. 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 so yeah from from there lah I, I. so so far kalau cakap pengalaman seram um, dekat studio memang Alhamdulillah so far tak adalah I mean Pengalaman seram Dia bukan Ini pengalaman seram ni Biasalah normal Macam hmm. kadang duduk And then saw someone walking It's normal Kat rumah pun akan Ada benda tu You know uh, Ada eh uh, Kat Studio Because studio kita Sini studio live yeah. So ada Ada satu cermin yeah. Sebelah tu Studio recording oh. So studio recording tu Sini terang tu Sana gelap Hmm. So kadang nanti You akan nampak orang diri Rasa macam orang diri lah So hmm. toleh macam To me is just Because kita cita tu <laughs> Mesti ada perasaan yeah, yeah. You know hmm. That, that exist, existence Of benda hmm. tu hmm. Itu studio lama ke studio sekarang? Lama-lama uh, So hmm. sekarang pun sama juga Pattern macam tu uh, Sini Studio live Sebelah tu Is the recording studio yeah. Tapi lama tu lagi seram lah Sebab kawasan tu Kedua Kok Hill Depan tu Bukit Brown Bukit Brown yeah. Cemetery Ya yeah. yeah, hmm. I remember So dia punya aura dia lain sikit Hmm. Aura dia lebih arwah eh? <laughs> <laughs> Punchline <laughs> Ni cuma hanya sekadar pandangan ya eh, Bang Casey eh? uh, Dalam podcast kita dan juga YouTube kita ada bincang lah Di antara tanda-tanda gangguan Is feeling the presence of someone seeing you tau But I think you want because You punya mungkin keimanan abang ni eh, Lebih kuat and suka fikir positif lah Itu yang kita nak sampaikan juga kepada Para pendengar dan para uh, penonton kisah dari KSG You know when you terkena gangguan You don't jump to conclusion Okay ini confirm jin tidak tapi fikir the possibilities and all that Kalau saya CD kat belakang jatuh hmm. Saya nangis <laughs> <laughs> Which so, comes to okay, so, Saya tanya? suka hmm. Selalu saya suka fikir macam tu lah hmm. Sebab kalau semua saya fikir hantu Saya tak boleh buat cerita hantu dah Saya akan takut sendiri oh. How to enjoy telling stories Ghost stories hmm. Where I'm someone yang takut betul, Kira betul. lah So because hmm. kat rumah I buat cerita hantu I mengilai semua tau I huh? buat malam seram huh? Dekat rumah huh? Dalam my studio hmm. Dekat rumah tu My <laughs> anak tengah tidur My wife tengah tidur Kadang my wife akan dengar Terpaki-paki ter- Mengilai <laughs> I ketawa huh? uh, To me is Yes Kita tahu makhluk ni wujud hmm. But why must we submit ourselves to to them Para pendengar dan penonton KRSZ Dengar tu nasihat Tapi Abang Casey eh <laughs> Kita akan kena gangguan But why do we submit 
Memang betul kita panggil orang yang betul untuk hari ni lah, eh? <laughs> Selama ni kita podcast kita Antara menghilang itu semua okey lah. <laughs> ah, Boleh boleh <laughs> ah, Tapi untuk pengalaman kita tengah record podcast <laughs> macam-macam tau Even dalam one of our recordings <laughs> Betul ada suara perempuan <laughs> macam itu Kita Allah tak Kita tak, kita tak dengar Itu ah, pasal korang bawa artifak-artifak uh, ah, Kita ada barang sihir kat sini ni Oh, ya. sini eh? Ya, kita letak eh, kat sini. Simpan sini eh. Ya, simpan sini. <laughs> Jadi ada ada jin yang menjaga talas. Tak tahu kenapa kita letak sini. Hmm. Ini bukan studio kita. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good, very good sharing. Which comes to the next question daripada saya. Eagerly saya nak tahu eh. Yeah. From saya punya yeah. considered you are my inspiration lah. Masya Allah. Masya Allah. <coughs> Malam seram. How it happen? And sampai sekarang Masya Allah. Since bila and so on. We leave it to you. Yeah. Malam seram. I mean cerita hantu ni is part of me already lah. Ya. Yeah, right. You can see that. <laughs> Bagaimana pun dengan eh hantu. Eh, <laughs> Casey tak ada cerita hantu ke? Yeah. No. Everywhere I go is hantu. Hmm. So when I decided to leave radio to start uh, content creator on my own. Content creation on my own. Hmm. Uh, before I, I left I have Uh, did homework lah I hmm. watch a lot of YouTube videos How to be YouTuber hmm, YouTuber How to be YouTuber How to be successful YouTuber I will tengok Tapi kebanyakan semua video uh, Adalah video-video Mak Saleh hmm, Betul Daripada Europe Daripada US <laughs> So Diorang tu dah level lain tau Betul Because Kita bahasa Melayu hmm. Diorang in English And from America And from Europe To be honest From my point of view Kalau you Daripada US You buat YouTube dalam bahasa Inggeris Penerimaan dia lebih mudah lah Lebih ah, ramai betul? Daripada kita orang Melayu ni Lebih rich lah ha, So hmm. I, I nak cari Contoh yang baik Yang bahasa Melayu tu That time belum ada hmm. so, I cari, 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 cari And then At the same time I buat content hmm. I try, try try and error lah try, I try Satu kali I buat I upload Views tak ada lah Macam views 800 Ribu boleh baling And then hati macam Kita mesti ada this ego yeah. Ego ego trip ke so, Aku DJ sih <laughs> Takkan views takat seribu Faham tak? Ya yeah, betul-betul We betul. have that thing But kita kena ingat Bila kita dekat radio Dan kita dekat Social media is two different league ready yeah. Kau jangan action kau kat radio Kau pergi bila Kau pergi YouTube Kau nak orang yalah, kenal yalah. No Sedar diri lah kira Yes <laughs> Even <laughs> artis popular dekat Malaysia When they set up their YouTube channel Don't talk about Sidon Liza And the A-list A-star mm, artis mm, lah mm, Itu mm. lain Itu dia buat apa Orang terus subscribe mm, yeah, you know? yeah. I'm talking about artis Artis yang orang kenal mm. Even they, they popular dekat movie ni Wah dia buka YouTube You rasa orang nak subscribe Senang senang No it's, It is really To press subscribe button pun susah ha, actually, Effort eh. Untuk mm. you buat content So orang akan tahu Eh dia ni buat content Consistent Dia nak kasih aku hiburan And I think I want to support him But After that Usually that is after They watch your video Sampai mungkin 5-6 kali Baru dia tekan subscribe 5-6 kali oh, Kira nak nak dapatkan subs- subscription ni Kira susah juga eh ha, Dia akan tengok video ha. Dah subscribe tengok tengok. belum Yang tengok ni ha. 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 Jangan lupa subscribe ha. Ha. Content ha. Content banyak uh, Bermanfaat eh, Ilmu ha. eh, Dengar dulu ha. Masya Allah ha. Alhamdulillah ha. Okay So itu tentang Sejarah Malam Seram So you dah start Since when uh, Sekarang so, uh, so saya start uh, 2017 Saya buat cerita Dalam kereta So oh. eksperimen Eksperimen hmm. kan. So bila eksperimen Effort lah Balik kerja pukul 2 pagi 2 pagi tu saya balik kerja Saya rekod video hmm. Drive pasang kamera kan Keluar rekod Jalan kat luar seorang-seorang Rekod Dulu tak ada banyak equipment yang yeah, 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 yeah. So buat apa yang boleh je lah So rekod And then uh, Pakai kamera Kamera dulang antaran Kamera dulang antaran Okay uh, So hmm. rekod semua Dah rekod And then balik Balik rumah pukul 4 pagi hmm. 6.30 nak kena bangun sebab anak sekolah Isteri kerja So okay. nak hantar anak sekolah Isteri nak kena kerja Nak kena hantar yeah. So bila anak dulu Masih kecil sekolah Sekolah dia very short hour Three and a half hours gitu hmm. So Hantar anak pergi sekolah Masuk kelas uh, Sekolah pukul Tujuh you know, Pukul lapan Lapan pagi lapan. And then Isteri masuk kerja Pukul sepuluh hmm. So before ten Nak kena sampai lah By nine gitu Nak kena sampai office hmm. So Lepas hantar anak Pukul lapan Hantar isteri pukul 9 hmm. Then I, Anak balik sekolah Pukul uh, 8 sampai 12 setengah So that 12 setengah 12 tu hmm. That is the time Daripada pukul 9 sampai pukul 12 I ada untuk edit video Dan untuk tidur Untuk tidur eh So I pergi Park mana-mana kapak I park kereta Semalam aku dah record kan Hari ni duduk kereta edit Laptop pun laptop Bangsa tak power Bangsa hmm. You nak edit Nanti dia kerja dia stop 
Uh, bila dah ngantuk kan Dah, <laughs> dah Otak dah fikir lain hmm. Edit pun dah meripik <coughs> Tutup laptop tidur Tidur lah yalah, yalah. So tidur set alarm dekat phone So tengok jam Eh dah pukul 12 I need to go to fetch my son So pergi fetch my son Fetch my wife So So after that we do our family routine Wah Family routine semua Send them back Hmm. Then if I have to go to work I have, I patah balik kerja Bila sampai kerja I nak kena buat persiapan Untuk malam ni show hmm. Check email Reply email Balik rutin dia sama So for the past one year I experiment buat tu Boleh biul Jangan buat <laughs> Bila biul <laughs> ha. so, 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 initial days of So bila dah, you hmm. dah make the effort You buat video Video I paling-paling That, that time Was seribu lebih lah Orang tonton Hmm Rasa macam eh Aku effort sih hari-hari 6 setengah Tidur 6 setengah 2 jam oh, je yeah. Tapi hmm. orang tak tahu bang eh Orang tak tahu That that face that you're going through Orang nampak uh, It's just a video ha, Macam life. Orang tak tengok Tak apa Macam ha, tak apalah Buat je lah But you must Understand Kita kena trust the process Allah cakap kita kena usaha Ulamak ha, The rest Kita kena <laughs> Kena serahkan pada dia Yalah, Dia tak boleh macam kita doa Lepas tu tak ada usaha After 6 months After 6 months Satu video Went viral kat Malaysia Oh Video apa tu? Video cerita dan kereta I think episode 2 kalau tak silap Episode 2 uh, So okay. video tu orang share-share I didn't know Kawan I whatsapp I tengok, Eh So I took the opportunity Ini bagus ni Post sana post ini hmm. the Orang ada interest Then my subscriber naik sikit hmm. Then from there Semangat datang lagi Buat lagi video Buat hmm. So cerita dan kereta Ada season 1 Season 2 Season 3 Semua dalam kereta eh uh, Dalam kereta So from there I monetize dah, dah, dah dapat monetization Eh dah boleh jadi lah YouTube pandai program lah Yes oh. lah oh. Ah, Buat duit lah Buat duit yeah, yeah, ah, yeah, Satu yeah. bulan buat duit Dari lepas kedua Dalam satu bulan Oh I'm very happy tu Awak hmm. Tengok Kita ada lima dolar lah Atau my wife Atau my wife Eh lima dolar ni hmm. I said If I can make lima dolar I think I can make more than that hmm. So buat lagi Buat 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 Awak Ni 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 That time dah Dah nak dekat Zaman nak, dah nak tinggalkan radio lah So But duit tak banyak lah Awak tengok awak Naik awak hmm. Naik 14 dolar 14 so, dolar That amount small money You have to think that Eh kalau boleh buat 5 dolar Mesti boleh buat banyak lagi Betul ha, Ada orang tengok Alah setakat 5 dolar je dah Malas nak buat lah Dah habis lah Give up lah eh orang So from there eh? uh, From there Buat video Buat video Buat video Dan nanti one time uh, Adalah saga kat dalam <laughs> video tu Uh, yang, yang Saga ada Ada yang dah tahulah kan Sebab hmm. uh, Conflict of interest lah <laughs> About work lah So hmm, yeah. To cut the long story short uh, Rezeki saya pun Bukan dekat radio lagi hmm. So uh, So my boss uh, Tell me to My dulu lah Bukan boss yang dulu-dulu Boss yang baru tu kan hmm. uh, Dia kata suruh Buat pilihan lah Kau yeah. Buang uh, Yang yang ada tu sarang yeah. Atau pilih ni Atau nak pilih mana So yeah. discuss dengan my wife Then I said Because I understand From the point Boss point of view Mungkin eh, Ini salah lah But I dah tanya Orang atas kata tak salah <laughs> Can do it So so it's like Macam Okay Then to the pilihan Dia kata tak boleh hmm. But I Ask my wife My wife kata no Just just go with. So okay lah Tinggalkan radio Buat After how many years? 20 years eh? 20 years Masya Allah The Friday tu I left Malam tu The Friday night Malam ikut nak masuk Sabtu tu Buat live kat rumah Don't forget My new show On Saturday My wife banyak tolong I Masya Allah My wife My wife kata Okay you jangan takut Sebab dah, 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 dah tak kerja radio ni hmm. Mana nak ada income Jadi your stable income I, Yang ada selalu dah tak ada Ada tak ada hmm. Terus terus dekat lah Mana ada income Anak kecil dua orang ha, Nafkah isteri Duit kereta Duit rumah Ya yeah. And to be honest Dulu time zaman DJ My saving is as good as zero Uish. Sebab How much can I earn To pay for everything I mean Alah. Gaji Gaji RM4,000 Okay contohlah Gaji RM5,000 Rasa cukup tak? Itulah Untuk zaman <laughs> Faham eh kita Faham, kita faham. Kita faham. Orang dengar RM5,000 eh, besar Tak Kan tak. Expenses eh Expenses kita But Expenses Two kids going to uh, childcare Betul And then you have cars hmm. You ada uh, Biasalah your, your Perbanjaan anak-anak hmm. Makan minum So at the end of the day You left with The small amount hmm. For you to save yeah. Kadang-kadang nanti Tiba-tiba anak sakit Nak kena pergi hospital You know you have to All this So So bila I left with you I have very little money In Subway Bank Very little Ooh. Very little You love stories man <laughs> So Keluarlah My wife Cakap jangan takut awak 
rezeki di tangan Allah Yakin so tu kuat. Uh, my wife cakap okay, malam ni I contact my friend untuk buat uh, malam seram punya ok first dia fikir nama oh fikir nama uh, ma- c- dia macam-macam nama lah I fikir dia fikir 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 so so we wanted to have something yang orang senang ingat Uh, tak nak satu perkataan Nak dua perkataan hmm. We want to run away from tiga perkataan Because the last time the show was tiga perkataan You know, <laughs> uh, you know We do, doesn't want to use the name The word lain, mystery lain, lain. Mystery hmm. inside our tu hmm. Because nanti orang cakap Masih lagi ditakut lama Masih lagi terkenang-kenang ke <laughs> You know uh, We want to run away from that So my wife, my wife came out with hmm. Malam seram Puh. That's it say, Malam seram Okay awak malam seram Okay malam seram The Call kawan dia Eh boleh buat uh, Malam seramin logo tak Kawan dia pun Okay boleh pop Dal- Dalam berapa jam tu Dah hantar okay uh, Boleh logo That's the oh. first logo lah mm, Nice This is the second one Oh the second logo Okay So lepas tu uh, Dia kata okay awak Awak live on Monday Pukul 10 Awak cakap ni ni She tell me what to do lah mm-hmm. So um, Bila The Friday tu Bila last day tu mm. Then my wife beli balik rumah Tengah nak maghrib tu Semalam saya cakap, eh awak Hari ni hari Jumaat kan ha. Hari ni tahun baru Islam kan uh, peng, Apa ni uh, Awal Muharram Cakap, ini penghijrahan ni awak Betul So, it was so perfect lah Hari Jumaat Penghijrahan Tahun baru hijrah You know, and, and, and everything falls into place So, malam bila buat live and I, Then I said, jumpa anda dalam live tu biasa lah emotional sikit lah 20 tahun kan Ooh. So Saya jumpa anda hari Senin Saya akan live Pukul 12 tengah malam hmm. Saya buat live lah Alhamdulillah My first malam seram was uh, Macam Belakang backdrop dia Macam masih Itu lah <laughs> Belum ada bajet kan <laughs> will irritate a lot of people out there hmm. Asset progression Or asset progression here Asset progression there hmm. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of uh, Property Hard Truth with NNM. Okay, today I is the topic gonna talk today will irritate a lot of people out there. Hmm. Asset progression, or asset progression here, asset progression there, hmm. yeah, especially irritating like, yeah, irritating like me like that. So yeah. uh, importantly, more importantly, uh, today especially in unsafe environment, why are we talking about asset progression in the Still, first place, guys? Yeah. yeah, my God, these three buggers are you know just irritating. But then again. The only thing you probably know about asset progression is how much profit you're going to make. How much profit you're going to make in the next three years, four years, five years, yeah. ten years. Mm-hmm. So you it, buy it, this, can you make profit there? Yeah, it irritates yeah. the the gut of everybody. Yes. But do, do, don't you know? But do you know that there's more to asset progression than just profit making? making. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One thing for sure is it's about capital building. Okay, it's not. It's something that you sow, sow to this, sow, right? Sow to sow, sow, ah, sow, sow. Sorry, sorry, yeah, my English are <laughs> not very really correct. Sow, ah. sow, do have lah. Uh, <laughs> something that you plan, make it easy lah. Talk about something that you plan today. Mm. It's not going to happen that the 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 fruits of labor will just uh, you know grow the next day. Mm-hmm. It's about building the capital, building the right foundation, uh, so that you know it's about wealth building as well. Uh. At the same time. Uh, what capital preservation? Yes, capital preservation is another thing that's hmm. important. You don't Putting buy your capital in the right assets. Uh, you don't buy something that you know you're not gonna even get back your capital in the future. So very important. Uh, and thirdly, it's about increasing or rather for savings. Yes. For savings, meaning that okay, uh, let's make a confession here. Uh, hmm. Everybody is not a saver. Yeah, it's so, so difficult to save. to save money. You have money, you spend. Uh, you know, it's it's really something that you know it's inbuilt in us, ah. Huh? Mm-hmm. So we can't run away from the fact. Not everybody can save, ah. Huh? People who say I'm very disciplined can save sometimes also, can fall away with. Yeah. But then, but more importantly, increasing your net worth when it comes to retirement. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, very very important. These are things that you know we we are we will talk about. Yeah, in and this asset episode. progression is basically necessary. Uh, in order to determine the lifestyle that you want to enjoy when you are 65 or when you at a retirement age. Correct. That's what we are actually uh, advocating here. Mm. So the rich always gets richer. Mm. Uh, so we don't want to ask to get poorer. Uh. So make yes. sure you listen to this or you watch this video. Yeah. But uh, Nizam, uh, yes. as much as we know, you probably heard some of your friends, uh, a lot of people, oh, I said progression here, I said progression there, you know. But 
there's still a lot more out there that didn't do asset progression at all or do not want to do. Mm. Mm. So I would say, let us uh, boil it down to three reasons or main enemies why people stop themselves from achieving their wealth goals. Yeah, This is through our experience that we're going to share today. Yeah. The type of clients or property clients that we have when it comes to talking about asset progression. Yeah. So what are these three biggest enemies that's stopping them? Okay, number one, I would say the comfort zone. Yes. Okay, basically, they're comfortable with what they are doing right now mm -hmm. and do not like to change. It's a common, like, you know, to have resistance uh, to change in our society. Yes, Very right. common. In fact, everybody, uh, that's our human being. Uh. Human being, we are so, uh, you know, we are built to uh, have a feedback mechanism. Uh. That means... Uh, so you're saying we must fear, be uncomfortable? Uh, if fear, right, uh, don't do, you know, that kind of thing. Mm. So want to be comfortable. So in fact, it's found out uh, that in the studies uh, that 80% of people will refuse to change. Even though... That's quite a high number, 80%. Yeah, 80%. Wow. Even though it leads to positive... Uh, they know that it's positive. It leads to positivity or beneficial gains. They know. But still... So, so even if it, it, you, uh, you, know, you gain something out of it, you benefit other people still have resistance yes yes okay. so example will be in this case for property will be what Nizam? ah yes mm. thinking talking about that comfort zone i mean i have a client let's not name names huh? not not mm. good for video uh basically he's comfortable living in a fire hdb flat fully paid in terms of uh, he's a saver according to him uh then but then you know his net worth is only that flat Hmm. Yeah. The 500,000 worth of uh, HDB flat. He is able, capable of, you know, uh, increasing his net worth or, or, or embark into four savings uh, kind of uh, journey to even increase his uh, savings or net worth in the yeah, future. Yeah, to double that. To double yeah. it, actually. But mm. unfortunately, uh, I'm comfortable. Uh, you know, why must yeah. I go into debt? Why must I, you know, uh, I don't like to mm. move houses or I don't like to, you know, it's... Malaysia leche, you know, that yeah. kind of thing. So it, it's really a bit of a, I don't want to do things that makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. I don't I don't want to sweat, bro, that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can, I I can just keep comfort to saving. Zone, comfort zone, basically, I think for me, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. I think that comfort zone is, um, you know, I as a person, I do not want to move forward without understanding what I'm getting into, you know. But if you can understand what you're getting into, I think that journey out of your comfort zone will be much easier. You know, and this is especially for for property, right? Because you need somebody to to guide you through that property journey, especially so that you understand what you're going to be doing and what you're going to be gaining. Yeah. But yeah. Manso, they already know. They already know the benefits and the positive side of it, but they just don't want to do. So these are the, I would say, the top biggest enemy lah. Mm. To stop yeah. them from actually, actually like what we are doing now, uh, we are not uh, we are not comfortable doing this. To yeah. be honest, right? We don't like to be Yeah, here. then the lights and all that. Oh, but it's blinding. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> we're uncomfortable, but it's good because yeah. we are able to share yeah. our knowledge and honest, you know, honest from our hearts. Yeah. yeah, and we also want to hear from you. Very importantly, yeah. uh, that's how we uh, why we embark on this journey, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's them. The post production is worse. But anyway, okay. let's talk. Don't Number talk about that. Number two, it. yeah, yeah, enemy. No more wow. No. Oh, learn, <laughs> uh, learn helplessness. Learn helplessness. Yeah, that means they already have uh, what a mindset that they know this is what's happening. Yes. Okay. That okay. is okay. Basically, the people feel that they cannot do it lah. I cannot do it lah, Nizam. I cannot do it. I already told you my my salary like this only. I cannot do it. Okay. And they're always thinking of excuses or reasons why they cannot do something new or different. Hmm. Because they only know what they know how to do before lah. Or what they used to do lah. So, don't tell me uh, that thing different, right? I always have excuse for it lah. That I cannot do one. Actually, there's one thing that I, I can say lah. Okay, sometimes learn helplessness uh, does not come from the individual. It can come from outside sources. You know, like your parents. Uh, I mean, that's, that's inside lah. But mm -hmm. your parents are your first go-to people for advice, right? Mm -hmm. You know, for, for most people. Mm -hmm. So, parents also may say, hey, you don't buy this thing, like you cannot afford it. And mm. and why do they think that they cannot afford? Because it's from their experience and transpose 
Oh, okay. Family. Past history lah. Yes. Past uh, historic events that happened yeah. to their family members. So, you that learn they, that, uh, okay. you know, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. this from your parents. This, this, yeah. this, this, this uh, uh, remind like me this. of something. I think uh, typically our parents, uh, older generation will say, mm. eh, do take bank loan. Later, uh, you cannot pay. Uh, mm. The bank will uh, tarik bank your tarik house. Your house. Yeah. Uh, then you got no place Correct. to stay. Yeah, you come uh, stay with me. Yeah. Oh, yo. Uh, yeah. no, I'm just exaggerating. Yeah. But this is something, yeah. Oh, you buy condo. After that, you no job. How to pay? Yeah. Then what bank will tarik? Lah, like that. For what condo? Yeah. Uh, so expensive. Yeah, uh, so expensive. You, you talk about maintenance, ah, more. Yeah. You got car, no car. You pay for car park for what? Yeah. Uh, so wow. And then you never go use swimming pool before you pay maintenance. That's yeah. Right. So a lot of these things, uh, I mean, the aesthetic, the aesthetic, or the external factors that affect a lot of people. Yeah.